A traveler alert warning people at SeaTac International Airport of a potentially frustrating week. Well, that's going to be a real madhouse, isn't it? Fortunately, I won't have to do it more than just today. <laughs> That madhouse he's referencing is all because of this unused ramp found at the arrivals pickup area at the airport, which crews will be working to demolish overnight throughout the week from midnight to 7 a.m. We're going to see the lower drive completely closed during that time period because the only way we can knock this down is by closing it what's underneath so we don't damage any cars. As a result, traffic will be diverted to the upper departures area which officials say will lead to heavier than usual traffic in the mornings. But you put them both together, that's going to be unbelievable. Are they going to have people out here directing traffic? There won't be people directing traffic, but alternative options are recommended. Whether that's taking light rail, dropping off through the garage from our south entrance, or finding another option from uh, ground transportation or our uh, Ubers, Lyfts, those types of things would be a great option. SeaTac officials say this week's traffic nightmare will allow them to do their long-term project of expanding the arrivals pickup area, adding an additional lane as well as another lane for hotel shuttles that go in the garage. But the demolition of the ramp is the first step with construction on the expansion project expected to start next fall with hopes of being completed the following year. Applaud them for doing that because it does need to be done for the good of the future. And officials tell me this overnight construction should last through the week and are hoping to wrap this up by Saturday morning, if not earlier. For now at SeaTac Airport, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.